Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Renee. If this is your first time ever viewing any one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So today you can tell by the title of this video, I have a collective haul. Um, I went to Walmart. I ordered some stuff from JCPenney's, which I gotta tell you a long story about that, and Walgreens. So let's do Walgreens first, cause that's like real, real short. Went to Walgreens on yesterday, and they had the um, L'Oreal was on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I told you guys I love these infallible lipsticks, Pro Matte lipsticks. So I got another Shakedown, which is my favorite right now. And I saw this purple, and I like this purple, and this is um, Deeply Disturbed. So I got both of these. You buy one, you get one 50% off. Fun summer colors, right? And what else did I get? Oh, I found a Milani Easy Brow pencil there for my eyebrows. And this is in the color dark brown. So I picked up one more of those. So I think that was it from um, Walgreens. So let's go to Walmart. So let me tell you about Walmart. Okay, it's three women on YouTube that I want you guys to go and check out. They have inspired me to take my wardrobe to another level. Another level. Okay, so the first one will be Wendy Pretty One. She does, and these are basically plus size women. Okay, so um, she does a lot of hauls from JC Penney's, Forever Twenty One, Route Twenty One. Just a lot of hauls. Of clothing that I'm like I need I need I need to, I'm changing my style I changed my haircut I mean I changed my hair I cut it right and so now I need to transition my clothes into my new style so um, Wendy pretty one is one of them um, T what we know we call her miss T um, I'm gonna try to link this stuff somewhere in this video um, she does collective hauls as well um, home decorating hauls um, she used to do thrifting hauls, but I haven't seen many thrifting hauls from her lately. But um, she does clothing hauls. And Miss Sharice, Miss Sharice Hines 3210 is her channel. Like I said, I'm going to try to link this. Or I'm going to link them in the description box. Um, check out their channels, they are very informative. Miss Sharice, she does um, JCPenney hauls, Forever 21. A lot of clothing hauls as well um, so these three women have really inspired me to check out these um, websites I normally buy stuff from JC Penney's anyway so um, it just made me think made me come with a new eye of how to look for clothing basically um, I have never bought anything from forever 21 for myself but you know in the future I will okay so uh, one thing that all three of them have in common, they always say check the sales racks or clearance racks, stuff like that. So when I go to these different websites, I look at clearance first, and then I might venture into other stuff, especially when JCPenney has a lot of um, sales and coupons going on. So um, we're going to go with Walmart first. Walmart, I was in there picking up. I don't know what I was in there picking up, but I saw this big clothing um, rack and it said clearance. So ding, ding, ding. I walked over there and I picked up two things for myself. And this is a, um, like a sp sp spaghetti top. <laughs> my, my language is really off right now. Um, regular price and I like this color this color is really really pretty this is a 2x the regular price of this hmm it says the regular price was a dollar 68 but I got it for a dollar so I got that and then this is a 2x as well and it's see-through you guys so I don't have to wear something under this or a black bra or whatever. But this is the shirt. It's a 2X. It has like a little tie situation in the middle. This was regularly priced 
$9.94 and I got it for five dollars so that was the two little items I picked up from Walmart but I did go on walmart.com I saw some stuff I'm going to be ordering from there from there they don't say sale or clearance section of you know on the website they say savings so click the savings if you go and check out Walmart click the savings tab and basically that's their clearance online so one morning early in the morning I was looking at Wendy pretty one and she was showing this um, ha ha of stuff that she bought recently from JC Penney's. I think she had ordered it from JC Penney's. I'm going through my phone so I can tell you the prices of this. Um, and it was like five o'clock in the morning, y'all, and I was up watching YouTube. Um, and so she showed her haul of these tops that she had bought, and she was saying how much they were. And she left a link, girl. Why she left a link? She left a link in her description box of these tops, and I was like, I got to have these tops so I clicked the link just to see was it still working because you know sometimes after a while those links don't work um, even though this video was very recent and um, I clicked the link and y'all guess what the link worked so I ends up buying these um, tops so I'm gonna show you I bought five of them I bought it's the same top I just bought different colors so this is the light blue top that I bought because I haven't opened up the rest of them. And so this is a cami. Um, you can wear this, you know, under your clothing. You can wear this with some jeans and maybe, uh, uh, what they call them things? Not a shawl. Um, oh my God. I can't remember right now. It'll come to me in a minute but you can wear something over this with some jeans or um, you can wear it by itself you know you're gonna need probably a strapless bra but um, you can wear this by itself with some jeans or a nice um, pair of shorts or some leggings you know whatever but this is one of the shirts and I hope you guys can see this good this is a 2x and I like the way the bottom is you see how that bottom is I like that but this is a 2x and the regular price of this was 27 dollars i got it for eight dollars and 49 cents that's why i bought five of them so let me show you the other four shirts all right so of course i got it in a pink it's the same as the blue one. I just haven't taken it out. But this is the pink one. This is like a navy blue one of the same shirt. I got a yellow one. And these were all in 2X. And the last one, of course, I had to get a black. So that's the black one. These shirts were $8.49 a piece. From $27 the original price. So I got... I got those and then my daughter's getting ready to go to New York next month with her cousin on her dad's side so I'm getting her ready for travel so later on that day because I did this order five o'clock in the morning um, later on that day I did a order another order with JC Penney's for my daughter I forgot how many things I got her but I want to tell y'all these prices too because it's ridiculous like I will forever shop like online clearance or I will go and check clearance first even though I know to do that already but whatever so I got her this top and let me see what they call this they call this the ruffle sleeve sweater top and it's in black and I love it's long sleeve but it's a crop top I'm really thinking that this might be too big for her um because i got this in a medium and my kid is pretty small but she likes baggy things small but like baggy things like, wait till she have to wear it never mind anyways <laughs> look at the sleeve i like this so the regular price of this i don't even know let's see okay here it is 
the regular price of this was $29. $29. I paid $8.49 for it. Online clearance. JCPenney's. Okay, and then I got her some leggings. Which I don't know, y'all. Because I don't think my baby's this big. So we might be taking it back to exchange it. But um, the regular price of this was $20. And they're just long leggings. Regular price was $20. I paid $6.79 for these. She wanted this basketball tee. I don't know why. Well, I guess I kind of do know why. Because it's like New York, right? And she's taking this out of town with her. And so this is a size large. And I can understand her wanting this in a bigger size. But this was $29 regularly. And I got it for $9.34. And it says L.A. on one side and then New York on the other side. So that was $9.34. Regular price, $20. Um, this is a bodysuit that she wanted. It's kind of like purple. But it's a bodysuit that she wanted. Long sleeve. This is a size medium. It's spandex. And it was regular price. I can't even believe this. $42. Yeah, $42 was the regular price of this. I got it for $7.14. Who would pay $42 for this? Why? You can go to Walmart and get this for about $10.5. Who pays $42 for that? Is that it? Okay, and I bought my friend a shirt. So I was in training at work, right? Minding my business. And then I got an alert on my phone from JCPenney's because I downloaded the app on my phone. And it was saying that they were having a sale and all this other stuff. And so my friend, she was sitting next to me and she was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and we supposed to be in a training class for work. Y'all know how boring that should be. Anyways. So I was just strolling through my phone looking at things and she was like, oh, wait a minute, go back. Because she's looking at my phone. She's supposed to be paying attention, but she's looking at my phone. So um, I'm not going to open this because this is hers, but I'm going to try to uh, insert a picture. Hopefully that works. I'm going to try to insert a picture of this blouse. But we got it from the plus junior size section. I know you can't really see it, but I'm going to try to insert the picture I'm gonna try um, this was regular price $28 this shirt was regular price $28 I got it for her for four dollars and seventy six cents four dollars and seventy six cents a shirt that was twenty eight dollars and this is a size 3x because my baby she you know my girlfriend she's a she's a plump one just like me and um, yeah so I'm going to be giving this to her at work tomorrow but I'm gonna try to insert the picture hopefully now I have a lost my original what is it called receipt so I can tell y'all how much I say because it does tell you at the end of the um, order how much you save let me see if that's available here so between the two orders that I did I spent like it was fifty dollars for the first order, forty. So I spent like ninety dollars, ninety-two dollars for all of that stuff. But the savings was like two hundred and something dollars from the receipt, which I cannot find. Which I think I'm gonna have to try to find because if my daughter needs to take these clothes back, if they're too big. But um, yeah. So check out JCPenney's online. Check out Walmart online. Route 21, Forever 21. Check out these three women um, YouTube channels as well. Like the stuff they are able to find for cheap, cheap priceless. It's, it's teaching me a lot. And you know what? I'm not a big shopper for clothes, but I'm a big shopper for makeup. Ain't that crazy? But anyways, um, 
But my mom was not a big shopper. My mom was not a big shopper. Like, she went in the store, got what she wanted, and came out. But she wasn't into makeup like I'm into makeup and clothing and all that. And then my daughter, she's like a little fashion diva. You know, she's really girly, girly. Fun fact, if in, no one knows... Um, I'm the only girl. I have three brothers. I'm the only girl. Now, I did have a older sister, which would have, which is older than all of us. You know, she's the firstborn, but she died when she was 19. Um, she had lupus, um, skin cancer, part of lupus. And so I was seven years old when she passed away. And my brothers, I think from that, especially the ones that were here before that were here while she was here um, growing up with her in the house they cling to me so um, I'm not as girly as my daughter is but I'm girly because my daughter can be a whole different girly like I don't even know where she get it from I think maybe she get it from her older sister because my daughter is 13 years old but she has an older sister that's 20 or 21 and they have a really good relationship so I think she picks up a lot of things from her but um and, and you know I'm all for it whatever I'm all for it your children are representatives of you so however they're seeing in public kind of says something about you as a parent far as like you taking care of them and all that stuff make sure they presentable when they go out so I don't mind it I, I feed into it you know whatever so I'm trying to work on me now um one thing I have learned about being a mother and I know this is totally off the subject I'm getting ready to wrap this video up but one thing I have learned from being a mother that I actually seen in my mother was we forget about ourselves when we have kids let me rephrase some of us because some of y'all don't um, some of us forget about ourselves and we put everything into our child, which could be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But um, now that my daughter's a teenager, I'm finding myself now, I'm really paying attention to things I like, what my interests are, things that keep me going, because I do realize that's my only child. And once she gets to graduate high school she has already told me you know she's been saying it for like the last two years mama when I graduate I love you I thank you for everything you have done for me but I'm moving to California because she wants to move to California and pursue a career there which I'm promoting it because I don't want to um I want her to see the world like do things that I did not do you know, travel, have your fun before you settle down, have kids, get married, stuff like that. So I'm promoting it. So right now I need to find myself. I need to get things in place for me. So when she goes and I'm like an empty nester, I won't be trying to find myself then. Because I'll be 40 when she leaves. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be just turning 40. Like, when my daughter turns 18, I'll just be turning 40. Because um, my birthday is 20 days before hers. So, I've been the problem of my life, y'all. So, I got to get it together. So, I'm going to keep watching them hauls from my girl T and Wendy Pretty and Miss Shanice so I can um, get my fashion and my clothes and my life together. All right, so if this is your first time ever viewing any one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell next to the subscribe button. Go and check out other videos I have done. And if you can relate to anything I have said in this video, comment down below. Like this video, share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.